We have lawyers, we have doctors, we have engineers, people who have done everything right, and their American dream has become the American nightmare. Government officials from several states are hoping to get a deal done to provide some foreclosure relief for their citizens. Critics say that's not enough. It is a drop in the bucket, and I don't believe it's worth the deal with the devil to give up our rights to bring the proper actions against the banks. The banks effectively, in my opinion, hijacked the judicial system where the judicial system to a large extent became a private collection agency for the banking industry. Real estate attorney Roy Oppenheim has helped Matthews and others uh, retain their homes, but he cautions the rulings do not apply to just anyone who stops paying a mortgage. Is the house yours? No, a lot has to happen before, before that. First of all, you have to win your case. And there are going to be a lot of folks who are going to now be facing foreclosure. They're going to be facing uh, eviction. They're going to be facing uh, uh, the inability to close on a home. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to help these folks and make sure that their rights are properly represented. I think there's this double standard that has been created in part by the mortgage industry, the banking industry, and, and, and the government. And that is that it's okay for corporations, it's okay for governments, it's okay for states, it's okay for municipalities to walk away from, from bad deals. And, and they do all the time. All the time, absolutely. Yet the individual homeowner is supposed to be somehow uh, stigmatized in the, in the sense that they are not supposed to default from uh, their, their mortgage, even if it's r almost immoral for them to do so when their property values have, <laughs> have plummeted and they're actually hurting the fabric of their own family. The moral stigma associated with foreclosure is gone. Oppenheim thought that this was a fad, collapse. but now... But we've now come to realize, and other people have advised us, that we better get used to this because this is now the new normal. The reality is that 10 million people need help, and they're not getting the help. So many people have had to default and had to destroy their credit because the government really never came to bail out the homeowners. Instead, they sold out the homeowners and they bailed out the bank. If you were a dictator for a day, what would you do to try to solve the crisis? That's a wonderful question. If I was a benevolent dictator, I would want to make sure that the judges, in fact, throughout this country uh, would apply the law equally. We've seen it all here. And I will say that, at least in Florida, we have finally seen a situation where the judges now recognize that they may have been sold a bill of goods as judges and that they were believing the stuff that the banks were bringing to them because it was inconceivable to them that these venerable institutions on Wall Street and their lawyers could possibly have pulled the wool over them time and time and time again. Recent projections that the entire state of Florida may be underwater have given many great pause for concern. I think short term in terms of values it probably is having little impact but if we look at at what has happened just in the Philippines or we look at, at what happened in A1A last year that a part of it was just completely washed out we're starting to see in slow motion that long term there are going to be serious seismic effects uh, on the real estate market. There's going to be a price paid and there's going to be some medicine in terms of trying to get yourself out from from this underwater mess. Um, if you do a short sale or if you do a deed in lieu of foreclosure, in 24 months, the U.S. government says that they are prepared to lend money to you again and guarantee that loan. I mean, I think one of the things we're seeing uh, that, that we didn't predict when we were here last December was this whole Occupy Wall Street movement. What we're seeing is that the banks literally got their hand not just caught in the cookie jar, but the lid was slammed on it and everyone got to see the hand just like hanging there in the cookie jar.